what is good everybody just wanted to jump onto this video and make a recording of the reasoning on why we got into this gbp usd buy that was posted in our discord and placed into our auto trader um obviously a lot of you guys were in the discord asking for the chart i wanted to actually get this out to you guys much sooner but i ex was experiencing some uh, technical difficulties with my equipment but here we are hopefully you guys will be able to benefit learn from this call or video if you will um and really make sure that you guys if you ever see this type of setup in the future you'll be able to identify it yourself and be able to pl uh, place this as a profitable trade even as your own individual trader that's the whole purpose of what uh the platform is why i have the discord why i take or do these videos is just so that way anybody who is trading the forex markets or any market for that matter you could take what you learn and implement that into your own individual trading um, my trading style is very easy i'm only just using price action i'm not trying to do anything over complicated or anything too crazy i'm just using the clues that the market leaves behind such as the ones that we're going to take a look at right now so the first thing i always want to do when i see, when i am trading is make sure that i'm using a higher time frame so what i'm doing is i'm going to go right here i'm going to go to the daily time frame I'm on a higher time frame because I want to identify the overall move, what this market is most likely going to give us. So anytime I'm doing that, the daily, weekly, and monthly are great time frames for us to, to identify the true trend. Why that's important is because when we're trading, you want to identify the trend because that's taking 50 or it's giving you 50% uh, of, of the trade done for you, right? Once we understand the probability or the, the, the direction rather, right? Once we identify the trend, the direction of where this market intends on wanting to go, it's going to be much easier for us to place a trade and feel confident that's going to win and have the probabilities in our favor. So I can clearly see since October actually of 2023, just around this area here, this market started to become extremely bullish. And since then, yes, it has had some bearish corrective moves, but since this move from here, as you guys can see from these lows to these highs, it has not slowed down. We have had, yes, again, bearish corrective moves, but that's what you're always going to get when you're you or when you have an impulse, right? So this being an impulse, this being its corrective move, this being an impulse, this being its corrective move. So that's all we're experiencing right now as well with GBP USD. We have another impulsive move, and it seems as if it has already corrected uh, a bit to the downside. Now, for me personally, I would like to see or would have liked to see this push down at least to that level of structure. It'll give us a higher probability chance uh, that level of uh, what used to be resistance, which is now a newfound level of support, could be a higher probable idea. But I don't really see the markets pushing that much lower. And I'm going to show you why. So when we scale down to the four hour time frame, there was the idea that this head and shoulders pattern would at least be a factor. So that's still something I'm considering. And the reason why I'm considering it is because it hasn't really reached this price here. Now, if you're wondering, but Jay, doesn't that look like a head and shoulders pattern? It does in a sense. But even with a uh, move like this, the correction isn't full, right? This is not a full correction. The reason being is because when you have, when you use your fit in this way, in order for a corrective move to actually be valid, it must hit the 38.2. So minimum, this will be our first take profit. And we'll get to that here in a second. I know I'm going a little, little ahead, but we're looking at this at least 38.2 to be reached for a potential, uh, potential take profit or a potential sell, if you will. If not, the left shoulder right here, this price at the 618 is going to give you a much better selling opportunity if in fact this wants to end up turning into a sell in the near future the reason being is because when we're looking at the charts when we're looking at a pattern such as the head and shoulders pattern what you're going to look for is that left shoulder price because i'll actually just draw it out here what a head and shoulders is you have that left shoulder then you have that head of the shoulder which is the uh the fake out of that resistance because what you're supposed to have is this it's supposed to push back up make even a higher high but it doesn't it comes right back down and what you're going to identify for an entry is that left shoulder price. That's the better uh, entry to the downside in this pattern. So we don't quite have that yet. It hasn't reached the, the, the price of the left shoulder. What we can also see here, at least on this, on this time frame, is we do have a double or even triple bottom. You can see here. One, two, and now three. So me being able to identify that is showing me that sellers are no longer welcome in this level of support. The structure has been held, at least for the meantime, pretty perfectly. What we're going to do is I'm going to highlight that. This is our level of support here. Reason why is because you can see previously this market broke above. Let's actually replay that. So when this was trending higher, when it was pushing and buying to the upside, it broke above and came to retest that point. And as soon as you see the retest, what happens? 
market decided to scale right back up and it respects this area of structure. We're good with this right now. Not necessarily respects. It did kind of give us a little breakout to the upside there, but you can see it did in fact respect or come back into that price point and reach down. Let me delete this here. So this level of support could warrant some potential buyers. And if we scale down to the one hour time frame, just a little bit more clear, right? The one thing I'll, I'll go back to the four hour before anything is this width to the downside at a level of support is a very important factor. That's showing me that buyers are no longer welcome or uh, sellers are no longer welcome. I'm sorry. They didn't have not, they did not have the strength needed to push this market in the direction that they intended, which is lower. Did not do that. That wick equals is rejection. Wicks equal rejection. So me seeing that the market is giving us a level of rejection at a support point is should warrant and tell us that buyers could be coming into this market. So what we did was we identified our buys and our buys are roughly around here. I can actually show you in a second. Our entries are just roughly, if I'm correct, like right here. So we are in a little bit of drawdown, but our first take profit is here, right? Again, my trading is extremely easy. I'm not overcomplicating it. My take profit is going to be based on the range high, as we can see here. So actually right there, that's the first take profit. And our stop loss has to go below these lows. Um, I, I probably, depending would not allow my stop loss to be, I mean, that's only 29 pips, but what I can see is that that, that structure is broken. The majority, the, the chances of this uh, trade to continue to push down is, is great. So I want to mitigate risk. I wouldn't say as soon as possible. I still want to give my trade a little bit of room to breathe, but I'm going to make my stop loss right below these lows and it's about 30 pips. Now our first general take profit is about 23 pips. That's not a good risk to reward ratio. You want to make sure that your reward, your take profits are greater than your, um, than your stop loss. So that's just a first general take profit. So we're going to put TP1. And what we're going to do is if broken, we will hold on for dear life because that means even more profits, right? So let me go ahead and correct that for you guys. So again, I'm seeing that if we could break above this level of structure, we should hold on to dear life because our second take profit, you would think it's here. Um, which should be actually, I was going to say our second take, our second take profit would be up here, but it'll actually be here at that left shoulder price. And then we'll put out, look for possible head and shoulders. Where's that little, there we go. Oh, that's not it. I don't have my context. There we go. At or not at end. There we go. Look for possible. Take profits to look for possible break, uh, possible head and shoulders. That's what I was going to do. This is what happens when you are a trader and your mind runs a million miles a minute. <laughs> you think of so many things. All right. So take profits to look for the possible head and shoulders. The reason being is because if that market hits that level of structure and we have that right shoulder being formed, um, that would be a really good sell point in the market will, uh, you can actually look for a double up. You can actually look for your sell entry there as well. But our final take profit will be at these highs here. And again, as you see, I'm just using structure, just using price. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not doing anything like um, change of character, break of this. And all I'm doing is identifying and using the clues that the market leaves behind. So ultimate take profits. So again, we are looking at this trade because on a higher time frame, we are very much bullish. When we scaled down to smaller time frames, we were able to identify this level of structure that was being held and the buyers were not allowing sellers to break through. And as we're here, we're starting to get a lot of rejection from this area being shown by the characteristics of the candlesticks. Wicks equaling strong rejection. We're getting bullish variant candles as well. And being in a bullish market, you want to try to buy at the next lowest point. This right here is the lowest point. Uh, not the lowest lowest, but it, what we can see, what this market is familiar with is this price. And the last time it was here, it bought. And if it wanted to break through, if it wanted to crash lower, it would have already given us more selling factors and it probably would have already sold off. But right now we can't see this market holding this level of rejection. So we are currently in buys. I did actually go ahead and place this in our auto trader. If you go ahead and check uh, on our discord. You can see here, um, I did put this out for everybody as far as a buy signal for today alongside some other ones. But I did actually have our free signals put um, or this trade put in our free signals. I did not put a stop loss and take profit there. Let me 
go ahead and do that right after this uh, after this video. So I'll make sure that people actually have that as well. Um, but as you see, this is a part of our free side of the Telegram as well. There is a link in the description below. So if you would like to get signals, would you like to stay updated with any and all videos and recordings that I do in any and all live sessions, feel free to join the Discord so that way you can stay up to date with everything. I will be posting at least one free signal a day. I will also be adding any and all analysis that I do think will be beneficial in our Discord if I am not making a video to post here on YouTube. So it's very important that if you want to stay up to date, if you want to have more analysis, if you want to also have at least one free Forex trade a day, you join the Discord so that way you can obviously become more profitable and benefit from our value. And also here, that is our entry here in the Auto Trader. I am managing everyone's accounts. I am placing my own individual trades to ensure that students are catching as much profits as possible, keeping drawdown and risk as low as possible as well. As this continues to grow, I will add the FX book in our uh, YouTube and in our Discord as well. So again, just be sure that you are staying very close in contact with our with both of those assets and resources so that way you can always have our value, stay up to date, and make money alongside with us. But right now, this is our trade here with the GBP USD. If you are not already in this trade from being in the Discord, feel free to again just join our Discord. The link will be in the description below. So that way you guys can all benefit. With that being said, I will see you guys on the next one. I appreciate every last one of you. Tell somebody you love them, and I'll see you guys on the next one.